All right, welcome back to the 2024 National Dodgeball Championship in Richmond. We have a heavyweight clash, Royales versus New Era. Royales from Quebec, New Era from Manitoba. Royals with the first row, big pump fakes, and number 14, Jesse Coupe with the counters. And I guess I didn't reach the, I'm Matt Wood. There we go. Royals with the throw here. Just missed the mark. We're coming up to the line, ready to take that pitch. That was Ferris. Oh, double throw on Savard and it just nicks him. Mm -hmm. Good throw. New Era once again with throw, they got a ball back here. New Era always being the aggressor on the court. They do not mince meat when they come to take their shots. No, some of the hardest throws in Canada. You got Nick Grenier. He's been a throwing coach a couple of times across the provinces. Jesse Copay. Jordan Ferris has a pretty hard arm too. Uh, if you can't tell. Oh, nice throw by Cartier on Blanchette. And New Era playing a super aggressive game right now. They got DePasquier. You got Tepaske though on the left wing, very, very mobile out there, very nimble, great blocker. But great blocks. Mm -hmm. Taking the shot at Tepaske and then a counter shot from the wing, from the Royals. Tepaske manages to get out of the way, changes up that wing position. We've got Grenier now coming up to the line with Jesse. Oh, oh, great thought by DJ though to see them coming rush up and just get the quick throw off. Tepaske right in the knees there on Blanchette. Oh, sorry, Rousseau. Blocked by Dutil. Yeah, so Depasque there, you know, he got hit, but the ball was still up in the air, so he still had the, the, he still had the right to throw the ball until the ball was dead on the ground. Holzerkamp coming up to the line, ready to take that shot. Big pump fake throw. Passes it off to Ferris. We've got Charche, Ferris, and Grenier at the line. Oh, big hit by Grenier. You that could, just comes so fast at Dutel. You could hear the smack on it. So it's just the one player left now for Royale. Uh, no slouch, though. Max was Patry out there. Team Canada player, full national player. Oh, the big catch! Two balls in hand, right in the bread basket. He looked like he was a little surprised at that one, though. And now he's going off. Double tap, that was on Coupe and on Holzer. Here now, all being made by the ref. Looks like everyone's saying all good. We've got Savard back on the line now for Royales. Down to a 2v2 very quickly. Yeah, Patchy brought it down from 5v1 to 2v2. That was That's exceptional. He just pulled no punches there. Just deadly accuracy, one, two. Went for Grenier there, manages to get out of the way. Grenier's looking to get that ball from the retriever. Again, Patrick takes that shot on Ferris while he wasn't looking. Ferris manages to avoid it. New era, oh. balls in hand. Big jump and a line out from Zavard there. Big dodges right at the line, that's that's the risk. Mm -hmm. Looks like he almost slid a little bit as well. Patrick mm -hmm. once again by himself, trying, oh, okay. trying to get that ball that was rolling out mm -hmm. to get ball control. Yeah, leaving, the, leaving the balls in front instead of handing them over to the retriever. So he can easily pick one up, keeping them all on the court for easy access. Call being made now by Grenier over to Ferris. Grenier takes the shot, goes wide, returns fire at Ferris. Grenier takes out Patry. That's the first point now on the board right, for New Era. Yeah, great throws by Grenier. He's going to do that a lot this match. You're going to see a lot of great throws. You're going to see a lot of great throws for all New Era. 
Mm -hmm. That's for sure. That's one of those things with those really hard throwers is you can see that ball that's a straight shot and absolutely no curve, no spin, no nothing, just flying straight at you. You kind of memorize a little bit by it when you do see it. You're like, you keep watching it, and the next thing you know, it hits your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just see your life flashing before your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> New Era doing a great job to bait out Royals to throw the balls. Now five on New Era's side. They got two out there. Jutel, Jutel out. Walsh. See Royales being a little bit more aggressive now, looking to try and take some of those shots. Just getting the measure for a new era, trying to grab those counters. We see Kopech coming up to the line, taking the shot. Big catch from Patrick. Big though. catch. Mm -hmm. Oh, but we have a we have a line out. I think the line ref is saying Dutel should have maybe come back on instead of Ooh. Walsh. So one of the head refs, Sean McCallister is out there to confirm. Just giving them a moment, chatting it out. And everyone seems to uh, catch is good, but then so okay, so catch is good, and Maxwell's Patry got hit afterwards on the secondary throw. Ah, uh, okay, so I believe that's what it was. So it looks like everything is good now. We're going to reset back at the line. We have four v four after all after all that. All right, and there's that whistle. They are ready to go. It's still one nothing. New era going for Ferris there. Ferris manages to block right by his face. Oh. Long shot from Charche right at Savard. Big dip there, almost taps the feet. Cross court shot too. Savard going out, Savard going out. Yeah, New Era has such accurate throws. It's it's hard to block them all the time. If, if you're if you're uh, Royals, you're, you're maybe thinking maybe sometimes maybe dodge to get out of the way is better than a block with all this curve from New Era. Pasquier being really aggressive up at the line, trying to bait them out. Just the two players left now for the side of Royals. It looks like burden to throw still on New Era. They have their lineup of four players. And for Rousseau, they are trying to take out that right wing at all costs. Walsh is just staying in with no problem. Nice wide even shot going for Depasquier. Depasquier takes out Rousseau, but then Walsh comes in and then takes out Depasquier as a counter shot. Good trade. Oh, sorry. Three for New Era, just one. Oh, and Walsh with the tag on Ferris. Goes down to two. Just a bounce. Yeah, down in the ground, but manages to keep it, so he has two balls in hand. He's going for Chartier now. Chartier getting out of the line of that one. It is just Grenier. And Chartier left against Walsh. Going for Grenier. Grenier gets down nice and low. And manages to block it. Burden still. Oh. And they call a tag on the side of Grenier. Okay. Chartier down low. Walsh blocks. Walsh doesn't get that second one. That is a hit. Second point now on the board. Yeah, that was a great second throw by, mm -hmm. by Chartier. Quick release. He's feeling it. But he's going to take a break. Yep. A valid break, but, he, but he's pumped up. Hey, guys, I got a point. You can take it from here. Yep. All right, no one decides to throw. Everyone. Taking their balls back, and it's New Era's, New Era's throw. Looks like it was a little bit of a fumble off that opening rush. Royals lost control of one of the balls. Luckily, the retriever manages to pull it back on the court for them. Holzer does get eliminated. Yeah, though. just got tagged right on the jersey. Looked like on the back. 
Yeah, start wearing skin tight bodysuits for dodgeball. <laughs> There you go, just a little rushed on the new era side to get that counter throw off. Gosh, that getting nice and low out of the way, sliding almost to the back line, managing to keep his position. Still have the full lineup for Royales. There's Walsh taking that shot, going for the wings there, going after Grenier. Grenier manages to stay alive. Both teams are doing a similar style play right now. They're both doing a lot of back line counters. Not really, not, now Royals has decided to take a break and regroup as a team, but a lot of backline cowards. And I think New Era right now has the edge when it comes to that type of pl play style, but. Right in the shoulder there on Ferris, looking up, trying to see if that was a pop flag. Grenier comes in, counters on Walsh. Walsh is eliminated, another shot for him. Okay, there we have Pantel and Grenier left for the New Era side. Royals managing to keep that lineup only eliminating one player. They still have five on the court. Savard looking to take that counter shot. Patrick coming up, taking that shot first. Play call being made by Gauthier. Oh, great block by Grenny. They're staying low, compact. He's got good eyes out there to make the double, double ball block. Mm -hmm. Getting nice and low, keeping it out of the way. Pantel and Grenier coming up now. Savard with a huge jump up in the air to avoid that shot from Grenier. Nice big jump from Grenier again. Savard getting nice and low. That knocks off the headband. Uh, yep. That's a clear hit. The headband gets knocked off. He had the balls up. He was in the zone oh. for it. Unfortunately, it wasn't his time for it. Royals were just kind of making a play call. Their heads weren't weren't uh, face forward and New Era tried to punish them for that with some backline throws. And now we oh. are at the end of the first half. We are going into a no blocking situation. Four players for Royale, two players left for New Era. Both the top teams from their respective province. Oh, Grenny almost puts it. Oh, great throw by Patry. It's a, a nice yeah, Grenier, counter on counter. Got a little greedy there, went for that catch, dropped his balls. And then that counter shot took him out. That's going to be the first point now for Royales. We're going to see them switching it up. Smart moves by Royales for that last one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, they, they, I mean, not a terrible move by Grenny to try to make that catch. He no. wants to try to, he wants the play to keep moving and he wants to have a high impact play to swing the, the momentum around. Yeah, and Grenier is a great catcher as well. So you know that he's, uh, you know, either if he throws or if he catches, he's got that ability that I think he just wanted to end it very quickly. And, uh, you know, unfortunately didn't work out this time, but I think we'll see it work out again. Work out next time. <laughs> the ref call team's got on the line. Time is running. Uh, Royals are going to have a little moment not many lineup changes on each side each every each team is pretty much going with the same lineup nice big shot there from Holzer going after the wing switching up positions now we've got Patry and Walsh on the wings for Royales big throw by Patry oh even better counter by DePasque on the left corner. You got to watch out for that for New Era. Once you make that throw, you got to be prepared to see that cross counter throw come at you. Oh, great toe shot by Ferris. Yeah. I was not expecting that one. Ferris is really good with those drop shots, too. Holzer just getting taken out, getting nicked there. So we have four on the Royal side with three balls. And then three balls on the side of New Era. That one being sent over. That's going to give it over to Charche now. New Era with that burden to throw. Going for Walsh. Walsh dodges. Yeah, good by Royals. Just take a break. New Era's doing a good job of backpedaling quick and taking their time. Royals coming up, making that play call. Looks like they're going for DePasquier. DePasquier does get eliminated from that one. Royals gets the shot on that. 
but it's still Walsh and, Shark, or Ferris and Charche left over. Charche going for the catch, popped right off of him. Was not expecting it, was looking for the ball, though. Great awareness. Oh, yeah. Just Ferris now against the four players left for Royales. It looks like call was being made. Yeah, and it looks like fingers on the ball as he went for the block. Burden now over to the side of Royales. Ferris managing to get wide off of those two. Royales pump faking, but... Ferris, Ferris did not uh, get baited at all with those pump throws. Sending pump two fakes. of those shots over as well. Looks like they are going for a cross between, managing to avoid them. Just Ferris left on the court now. Oh, pump. oh that sucks when the ball just comes back, and I think it was off. It was off the shager as well. <laughs> Play call being made now by the player in the center. Oh, that was close. Ferris just Looks walked like, it right down, but I don't think it hit his ooh, feet. We have a line call on the Royale side. That's going to take it down to oh, two players now and a shoelace for Ferris. Oh, that's a tough line out right there. Three versus one. Now it's down to two versus one on a, on just, a just, just a bit of a brain fart usually. Oh. You don't know where your surroundings are. You gotta hate that feeling, especially when it's like. Oh, great the, job shot by Ferris. Oh! Great job shot on the back. Goes into Ferris, though, so they cleared that one out. Royale's making that comeback, tying it up 2v2 in the second half now. Oh, Ferris almost had that one pulled in. Almost, but that was a great shot on the Royale side. Oh, absolutely. To finish it off. That, that perfect drop shot by Ferris, though, into his back and he's going for the dodge. That's the kind of drop shot that I was talking about. Yeah, it's a beauty. Mm -hmm. We are sticking just with the, the one-man rush of Holzer to grab all three. No pressure. No, not at all. Making that play call now. Jesse Cooper coming up to the line. He looks like they were going for the captain there. That is Blanchette. And they get the ball back as well. Four balls now again. Another free shot. This is uh, when New Era starts playing their aggressive game. Going for Walsh there. Walsh managing to avoid that one. Has his hands up. No hit. Again, Kope making that play call, two. Yeah, great dodges, two balls coming over and great dodges by the Royale. See, they're mm -hmm. starting to dodge a little more now instead of blocking. Oh! Big catch! What a catch! Oh my goodness! Fly back in the air and catches it right below his chin. Absolutely crazy, and he manages to stay in, pulling his back up. Great core. <laughs> we need a great core for that. That was one of the best catches I've probably ever seen. That was amazing. We still got a whole weekend. Don't get ahead of yourself. But it's definitely going to be on the top five list. Yeah, I hope so. All right, coming up now, it's the. We still have five versus six right now. New Era still has their full line taking the shot. Kapaskie goes for He's Savard and hits him out right in the ankle. Sneaky like that. For Charche. Charche managing to avoid those shots. Lots of balls being exchanged yeah. very fast right now. Game starting to feel a little bit rushed. It looks like that timer is going to be counting down. We've got about nine and a half minutes left. Ref calls. Oh, there was a timeout. Yeah, there was a timeout called. So it's a 2v2 now. And uh, that is referee Schmigelski. We just saw her earlier on stream court two. Did they win? Uh, I believe so. Nice. Actually, it was a tie. I apologize. Okay, so. It was uh, them versus Pitch Perfect. It was a tie. Unclear who called the timeout. Both teams get to enjoy it, though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you get the timeout, you either lose it, right? Yep. It doesn't look like time continues to run during the timeout, which is great. Yeah, these are the uh, elimination, like these are the games coming up for the elimination. Like we're still in the round robin, so we just have to go with the flow on these. Backline counter by Blanchett does not hit. Looks like they're being slightly cautious now. Kope with a nice strong throw. The Walsh getting low. Josh! 
Pasquet getting down nice and low, managing to avoid that shot. Counter shot by Charche there. Yeah, a little discussion on the Royal side. I think uh, Walsh might have wanted someone to throw at DJ once he got thrown at. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. Play call being made by Blanchette. Taking out Grenier. And Lavoie as well. Nice Take. moves by Patry. Mm -hmm. Avoiding that shot from Holzer. Kope coming up to the line now. Looks like he retreats back once he realizes that Royales has burden to throw. Nice and low there, blocked by Kope at the shot on him. Still the four players left in for a new era. Oh, oh big pop fly up right into the chest of Charche. Down to nice throw eight. by Kope. Oh, and Holzer had him dead to rights there, but chooses to be patient and not throw. Mm -hmm. Patrick managing to get eliminated as well. It was almost a 3v3, but that counter shot takes it down to a 3v2. High throw by Blanchet. Holzer with a very nice block. Four balls now, Copet makes the play call and, and the throw, and the two are unsuccessful. Oh, big catch by Goche. Just grabbed that right out of midair. That was correct. That was Goche. Blocked by Copet. Ball coming our way. Pasquet getting down nice and low, managing to send that one flying over into Copet. Almost. Oh, great blocks, or, or dodge, oh, but Chevalsky calls him out. Four balls in hand now, Royals makes that play call. It is a 2v2 situation in the second half. Goche takes a shot at Copet. Copet stays in, makes that play call to Depasquier. Perfect block as well, going right to DJ. Uh, two balls in hand, Depasquier takes the shot, and looks like he is eliminated off of that counter. It's just Copet left now. are feeling good now. Down to nothing, coming back. Up 3-2 now. And we got another timeout called. It's the last timeout of the match. So it looks like this is the timeout now for New Era. And uh, Royals are enjoying the moment, celebrating a little bit. I mean, and rightly so, that was well earned. Yeah. But you got Coach Hubert over there, and you know, if I was him, I'd try to give him back just to just to ground level. Everyone kind of even keel, making sure the highs aren't too high, the lows aren't too low. Mm -hmm. We see the, uh, the line refs there having some fun with the flags. Looks like they're doing a little bit of semaphore with each other. Huge shout out to all the players who are also volunteering to take on extra positions while they're also playing. It's going to be a tough weekend for everyone, but you are all appreciated. Coming up to the lineup now, we hear the whistle from the ref, telling them to get ready to go. And there's that rush. There's oh. And Walsh with the, with the, they got the big pump fake off the rush, but then Walsh comes in kind of delayed and gets Granny out. Good play. Nice block by Patry there. Managing to grab another ball in hand, center player. Goche again making that play call, going for Charche. Charche gets eliminated. Pantel getting that extra ball, sending it over to the wings. Looks like they're switching up position now, so Ferris is going to take Copet's spot. Looks like a double tap is almost going to go. One Goche, for one there. Yeah, Goche almost looks like he was going to go for that the second ball there, but it wouldn't have been a catch since he was already eliminated. That first ball did hit the court. Big shot at Copet. Rousseau trying to trying to square up for that catch, but good to keep the hands and the 
and the arms close to his sides. Stay compact. He made a uh, last minute judgment there, like, nope, not worth it. And that just skins off Maxwell Patrick's side of his head, it looked like. Nice big block there coming up. And it looks like that was a hit on Gauthier. It is just Russo now. Oh, a great throw by Ferret, just getting the knees. We have a tie match, 3-3. Three, three. One minute remaining. So this will cut, this will, this will, 95% sure be the last point of the game. <laughs> I like your odds. <laughs> Best game managing to stay in on that one. It looks like he slid a little bit, but it came just wide up over his hand, manages to stay in. Shot right on the foot there. Good call by the Royals, regroup. We are also retreating back to the line, changing up their positions. DePaski and Charche taking up those wings. Spots and... Yeah, DJ got the one hit out on, uh, on Patry. Mm -hmm. Charche with a good follow-up, though, just to make sure. Getting down nice and low, that was... Good toe. Thank you. Now we go into Sun Death. Was there one out there? Yes, Grenier got hit right at the end there. So we are now at the end of the second half going into that no blocking. We are at 3v3 right now, so we are, both teams are tied up. Whew. Gonna be a nail biter. New Era coming up to the line with that burn to throw as they have player advantage. Kopet sending one over. Oh. The line looks like oh. there was an and a lot of throws. Two balls are catched by Chartier, though. So Grenier comes back in, and Copet stays in as well because it, it hit ricocheted off his off his chest. But, it was a but, huge sliding catch, but it looks like they just kind of need a minute to figure out what happened, who hit who. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a couple balls flying up there that were in the air. So if I was around, that would that'd be hard to track of all those balls in the air. Oh, absolutely. That was extremely fast and well played. They are calling the catch valid. So Pantel is out now, mm -hmm. but Grenier comes back in. It's going to be an interesting exchange. We'll see how Royale plays, Royales play with it. Big dodges here have to come. To, oh, they, oh, Patrick throws the last ball and gets punished for it. No. Right drop shot in the foot there. Yeah! Big throws and a big celebration by New Era and, and well earned. But that was a great game on the Royal side as well. That was a fantastic game by two juggernauts from their respective provinces. Yeah, New Era with a comeback on that one, taking the win against Royals from Quebec. And let's see here. Coming up next on the stream, we are going to see ooh, a rematch of the Manitoba Provincial gold medal game, Rogue versus Rainbow Thunder.